It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. It's time to carry on with the little Oktoberfest beer and dumplings. Little have brought out lots of different foods for Oktoberfest. It's part of their Alpenfest range that they bring out. They bring it out about three or four times during the year, but they also bring it out specifically for Oktoberfest. So we've got some Cas Newton dumplings with potato, cheese, curd and mint fillings. These were three pounds for the bag in my local Lidl. I'm, I'm going to try my best because you have to put these in boiling water. I've taken a little bit of time. It's going to be less carnage with the induction, with the induction cooker. We're going to try for a little bit less carnage in this video, a little bit more control. So water, just boil the kettle. You have to boil these dumplings for 13 minutes. 13 minutes. So I'm going to put the boiling water in the pan, turn it all on. Hopefully the couple of dumplings I put in, they boil nicely for 13 minutes and there's no drama. I've also found a way of propping this damn thing up a bit better as well. So, power. Power. And then probably number eight on the Richter scale. So, use the dumplings. Water is already boiling. These induction cooker things are fantastic. This is what the dumplings look like. One. Two in boiling water. Potato, cheese, curd and mint. These should be great. Now the beer I'm going to be pairing with is a Falter Dichreiner Fest beer. And this is coming in at 5.9% ABV. This is part of the 10 box, 10 beer box. 10 beers in a box. Well, that's really boiling. Do you want to have a look? Oh, hang on, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's boiling that much, it's spilling over. I don't think you need to see it, do you really? But they, they're definitely boiling nicely. Anyway. 10 beers in a box from Lidl, they were £25 for 10 beers, works out at £2.50 per bottle. I think that's fantastic value for money. I'm going to go and put it back in the fridge now whilst these dumplings are cooking and I'll be back when the dumplings are cooked and we'll crack open the beer and we'll try the dumplings and the beer together. Right, okay, these dumplings are ready. Look at that. No drama, no drama. Right, so, gonna grab one with my fork. Oh, I'm gonna poke this one. There we go. Job done. Boiled dumplings for 13 minutes. Right, I'm going to move the water over to there and I'm going to get the beer open whilst these dumplings cool down. That was all a little bit more controlled than last time, wasn't it? I haven't used this thing in like 15 months before the video we produced the other day. It was kind of chaotic because I wasn't in any kind of rush. It was just a situation where I wanted to film the video and I thought I could put them schnitzels in the air fryer. And it, it turned out they needed frying. If you're wondering what video it is, put in a carnage video or something on YouTube or... Um, little Alpenfest schnitzel review 
or what was the beer? I can't even remember the beer. It's been, it's been two days. I don't remember the beer. Anyway, this is Falter's beer. This is their Fest beer. It's a three finger white head. Good levels of carbonation. 5.9% ABV. Lovely looking golden amber coloured beer. It's been filtered, this one. It's not kind of bottle conditioned in any way. Get the aroma. Oh, it smells fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Lovely hoppy biscuity aroma. Now there's been a big debate. I touched on it recently. There's been a bit of a big debate on YouTube regarding um, whether this box of beer from Lidl is good value for money. Ten beers for £25, £2.50 a bottle. I'm just going to give you my little take on this. I'm about four beers into the box now. And I've had nothing but splendid beer. The beer's been terrific. Lovely aromas. It's, it's, it's proper German fest beer. My personal feeling so far, four or five beers in, is that I think it's fantastic value for money. Lovely aroma, really kind of like inviting aroma, biscuity, stinging nettle, spicy hoppiness. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, that's just fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic. Good quality German Oktoberfest fest beer style lager. Nothing to complain about here, nothing at all. It's clean, it's crisp, it's refreshing. There's a hot bitterness on the back end, it's lovely. It drinks incredibly well for 5.9% ABV. Just pure, for me, pure class. Pure class in a glass. And the other thing I want to talk about on this very subject of value for money is... Now, I, I spoke to somebody at BrewDog about this. I went into their, uh, one of their bars in Cardiff and they had a beer fridge and there was one bottle in there years ago. And I think there was a big 750 ml bottle of beer and they were trying to charge over 20 pounds for this bottle of beer. And their argument was that, hey, if you wanted, it was an American beer. If you wanted to jump on a flight and go to America and pick up this beer, it's gonna cost you the best part of thousands of pounds, never mind kind of like 20 quid. And I've always bared that in mind I've always thought to myself, yeah, that beer has to get here as well. It has to travel miles to get here. And that's not free either, is it? So for £2.50 a bottle, all the way from Germany to the UK, landed, shelf price, £2.50. I, I think it's tremendous, tremendous value for money. Solid, drinkable German fest beer, nicely balanced between the sweetness over here with the malt, the bitterness over here. I could drink a couple of pints of it, but I tell you, it gets you into trouble. I finished that Lohenbrau keg. Some of you might have watched that Lohenbrau Oktoberfest. Now, I drank that on like a Saturday. And before I know it, I was, I, I was like asleep in the chair in the garden type of thing. You know, it's like, Falling over juice, you know, that's the that's the thing with these Oktoberfest beers. Anyway, we're not going to put these dumplings off anymore. This is what they look like. Cheese, mint and potato. Mm. 
That's what it looks like. That's what a cheese, mint and dumpling potato looks like. Let's get in. That is <laughs> proper stodge. Brings me nicely to where I want to go with this video. I just I just mentioned falling asleep in the garden drinking Oktoberfest beer. This is the reason why this type of food exists. This is stodgy as you like. Gonna fill a massive hole in your stomach. And it's gonna probably save you. This food will save you. If you're drinking these rather strong Oktoberfest style beers, you want something big and fat and stodgy. Pastry, potato, cheese, and some mint, just to lift the flavors a little bit. Mmm, that. That is fantastic. That is exactly what you want. I've been there. I've been, who hasn't? Who's been to a beer festival? And you're trying all the beers and you're talking to your mates and you might see some brewers you know and the next thing you know they're calling you over to their bar and you're drinking even more beer at the bar. And then the next, the next minute you go, ooh. Ooh, I really need something to eat. That's the point of these foods. That's the realization of these foods. These foods have been developed to be eaten with beer. Big glass of more or less 6% ABV lager with a big fat German, who doesn't like a big fat German dumpling, eh? Potato, pastry, mint and cheese mm. I'm gonna be honest with you yeah they're tasty but it's almost like they've been designed for me and me personally like I couldn't imagine I'm sure German people do, but I couldn't imagine serving this to my wife and children, you know, coming in from school, coming in from work. Here we are, kids, sit down to your to your mint potato and cheese dumplings uh, with what would you serve it with? Some salad or something? I I I you know, I don't know. Maybe some uh, schnitzel or some German sausage or something like that. Probably would, wouldn't you? Maybe a couple of beers. I think they would turn their nose up to it. I think they would go, mm, that's not for me. That's not for tea time after school. But, 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 I'll go back to that very fact. I'll go back to that very situation of being slightly alleviated at a beer festival. Mm. Coming across these and going, yeah, that's exactly what I want in my stomach right now, just to soak up some of that beer. So, these dumplings, they serve a purpose. They're all right. I think without the mint, you'd be a bit like, You'd be a bit like, kind of like, maybe a, feel like a cow chewing on grass type of thing. You know, it's like big and stodgy. And, but the mint lifts it quite nicely. The mint gives it something extra. Yeah, all right. They serve a purpose. They're a six out of ten. Six out of ten. But the beer, this Falta Dich Nine of Fest beer is, I mean, yeah, look, um... 
I, I'm just going to let you kind of work that out yourself, what's going on on that label there. I really like it. I could drink pints of this and then have some dumplings. I like the beer enough to give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.